Hey guys, Bike here, and today's video is going to be about my thoughts and opinions on the Necromancer in Last Epoch. Uh, before we get started with that, we I've been having a ton of fun playing the Necromancer, the Paladin, Druid, I'm even working on a Void Knight, and I've been doing all of that live on uh, twitch.tv forward slash babbling bike and I've also been streaming to YouTube as of this past week information in the description down below so without further ado let's get into it so my thoughts on the necromancer class I thought this was a great class I liked it a lot uh, I just like having all the options available you know you got wraiths you got skeletons you got golems i'm sure i'm probably missing even oh yeah you get the abomination it was this like big old guy that you can just you can like do all these other summons and then just like all right and with my with our powers combined could make my monster grow yeah it, okay that was probably <laughs> that was probably a, a little extra on that but yeah that's how i felt about it they have all these options and uh so when i first started playing i was just kind of dinking around messing with different stuff and uh i got to a point where i was kind of hitting the wall a little bit i wasn't very familiar with the class so i went and looked up a guide from max roll and this one was um uh, the guide was you take a golem and you just buff the ever living snot out of him and that's it you then just cast all your spells on the golem and he's got like all these little bone shard whatever you know he's a bone golem he's kind of he's kind of bony anyway <laughs> uh you you keep casting all your spells on him and they like break off in like a nova and just go and they're just like smacking everything all around and the damage can get really insane so I'll have a link to that build in the description down below as well if you guys are interested in checking that out. There's also probably some gameplay playing right now or right around now uh, in game. We made it all the way to, I believe, level 94. And we were pushing, I think, um, high 100s, like, like 190 or low 200 corruption. And that, that's about where I left it. I had a lot of fun with the class and um, how do I formulate these words? I had a lot of fun with the class, but I didn't want to do as deep of a dive as I did with Paladin. Paladin, you know, I was pushing 300, even 400 corruption, took it all the way to level 100. I swear when you get... Welcome back. Uh, I was rambling there for a moment and I decided to cut that off. So one thing I didn't really like playing about the Necromancer, and I made my journey on the Necromancer a little bit shorter than I did on the Paladin, is I got tired of managing two different characters. Uh, if you didn't know, in Last Epoch, you can command your minions to move to a certain location as opposed to a game like, let's say, Diablo 4. And that that's really useful but at the same times they, they they still have a mind of their own so they can go running off in another direction and sometimes that can get frustrating now this might be alleviated if you're playing uh, a build that has multiple minions the build i was playing only had one minion which was the bone golem which my chat named hulk hulk had a mind of his own and liked to run around and smash different stuff and sometimes that was not the best place for him to be because with the way my build was i had to stand there i couldn't move i had to stand there when i wanted to deal damage stand there cast spells on hulk he radiates out with the damage and hurts everything in a aoe circle around him well sometimes you don't always have that opportunity you're getting hit with all these aoe spams and everything you yourself can't really do damage and hulk is running off to the beach you need to bring hulk back and it just it got a little frustrating at times i liked just being like this is me i am this paladin I go there, I do the attack, bam, there's the damage. I am this druid. I go there, I do the attack, I do this damage. You got this sort of like, it's like you took your weapon and you threw it up into the air. Now it's floating around and attacking stuff for you, which is cool, but now you yourself can't really do much of the attacks. You got to wait for Hulk, in this case, to uh, come back so you can now do your damage. And uh, there's certain ways around this. There is a belt, uh, experimental affix in the game that you can put on 
for sure. I'm throwing this out there. I'm, I'm maybe I'm tattling on myself, but <laughs> you put it on. There's an ability in the game called Transplant for the um, Necromancer. It allows him to essentially teleport to another location. And if you do that, if you have this belt on with this affix, your your minion will come with you. So that's a good way to you know keep them close to you at all times. Another way is you can always just resummon them, which I had to do a few different times. Had to resummon them because he ran too far away and he wouldn't make it back in time because he's got to run all the way back from his little journey down to the Quickie Mart. <laughs> Uh, but I did think it was cool that the developers did put this ability into the game that you can control them and tell them where to go. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like the fact that in this game, minions feel very impactful. When I was playing Diablo 4, I didn't feel like they were very impactful. In fact, when I was playing, which was like preseason, early season one, a lot of the top Necromancer builds were no minions. And uh, it just felt kind of weird playing a class called Necromancer, which was, you know, especially with Diablo 4 and Diablo 3. You know, it, you, the lead, the commander of the undead, the, the commander of legions, and you yourself are out there just casting spells. I like the fact that minions in this game there's a ton of options you know you got uh, affixes like minion health minion damage minion resistances and you can take all these different little things maybe even create like a, a symbiosis there's definitely skills in the tree that you can take where you both benefit you now both get a little extra health you both get like some resistances give and take uh <laughs> give and take right there i, I really like that the whole feeling of the Necromancer class was cool, but I think ultimately at the end of the day, after playing different classes, minions might not just be my jam. And if I'm gonna be playing a class called Necromancer, I would expect that I'd be playing with minions. So I still like the class, I'm still gonna play it. There was definitely a lot of uh, benefits there and I I'm not gonna give it a bad grade or anything. I think Necromancer is really strong. It's probably one of the strongest classes in the game. It's just all about your play style. And I really like the fact that this option is here in the game for everybody to use. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the Necromancer class. It's not a deep dive. It's not a breakdown of like, you know, you like, here's these abilities and this isn't a build guide or anything like that. I just wanted to give my overview thoughts of like how I felt when I was playing it. Hulk was really cool. Sometimes he was frustrating, but at the end of the day, it was a cool experience and I'm glad I got to enjoy that. And I hope you guys can enjoy it as well if you pick up this game. Anyway, you guys take care. Have yourselves a good one. Cheers.